Hello, this is Alaric Shorter reporting for Congress TV and um, we just got some questions to ask some people around the Congress Center. Some of them are a little light-hearted and some are a little more in-depth, but just to give you guys a little bit of a flavor of, of the kinds of people that are in Puebla for the 2014 World Congress. So let's have a look around the place, see if there are any ideal candidates uh, that we can start with. Oh, what's this? If you were a piece of kitchen equipment, yeah. what would you be and why? Why would I be a spoon? That's a great answer. <laughs> Why? Why? I would be a spoon because I can grab anything on the plate, you know, and I could leave it empty. Maybe a coffee maker because it starts the day? Spoon. Because really that's the only one you need. You don't need a fork, you don't need a knife, you need a spoon. I'd be a flapjack turner over. And why would that be? Because that's been my life, turning things over. I would be a Vitamix in order to be able to take everything in life and bring it into myself and make the perfect beverage. That's good. <laughs> uh, I would be a big knife. <laughs> <laughs> Why? To cut the unwanted uh, stuff. <laughs> don't, don't want to get on the bad side of him. Uh, no. I would be a blender to blend good and bad together to mix it. Equal thing. I'm gonna have to say the kitchen sink to do all the cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> well, what comes in my mind is a fork, but I have no clue why. That's brilliant, perfect. Maybe there should be some connection between uh, people, uh, be between Subud members, each other. There could be more connection. Great. I would be the fork. You'd be the fork? Yes. They'd be the food. <laughs> okay. Um, what brought you into Subud? Uh, my ex-boyfriend actually I didn't want it at the beginning because I thought it was like hippie things and after that after two years I said okay I'll do it and I had my first talk and I said okay I'm in love and I got into and you said I've got to make Latian yeah actually and now I'm here being youth rep of my country my parents born into it it's uh, very easy that way um, Parents brought me in and uh, my friends kept me here. You really want to know the truth? My husband, he was in Subud, and if I wanted to marry him, I knew I was going to have to join this, this organization he was involved in. And you never looked back? Yes, that's absolutely right. Second question. Mexicans clearly enjoy mixing uh, chicken and chocolate. <laughs> Do you think we should mix beef and chocolate? No, I don't think so because chocolate has like more ingredients and just chocolate with beef, I will never do that. Well, I don't mean just chocolate, I mean, you know, the way they mix it with the mole. Ah, oh, mole, maybe. Yeah, I think it could be good. We just have to try that. Would you try it? Well, I'm vegetarian, but if I would not, I would. <laughs> I was a hard sell, but I like it now. Do you think we should mix chocolate and beef, or chocolate and other meats? I, I bet it's been done, and I think it'd be okay. You know, I know it's like a local thing here, and they love mixing the chocolate and chicken, but it's not for me. You know, it's, sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's too chocolatey, and I mean, who mixes dessert with chicken? I 100% I agree. Mexicans, that's who. Oh, not, not very. Not, not good. No, no. Okay. it's not my idea of okay. good taste mixing. I love chocolate. I like chicken. I'll even enjoy rabbit. Rabbit and chocolate? No, 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 no. rabbit alone. But they do it very well here. Muy, muy delicioso. Does everyone agree? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Chicken. I love chocolate, but I do want to have it with chicken. I rather have to have just simple chocolate. I agree with you. And so I'll ask you: Do you think we should mix chocolate and beef? Well, that's up to you. I mean, do you? Think no, it's up to you. Because I'm asking you the question. Do I want to mix chocolate and beef? Do you think we should? I think each person needs to decide that for themselves. Well, I think the word, uh, the way the word sounds, expresses how I feel. It's mole. Give us a pose which expresses how you're feeling at this moment. A pose? Yeah, with your body. Like 
that. That's Probably nice. Actually. This is a nice pose. I just made Latihan, so. You made Latihan. <laughs> is that like making love? Yeah. Okay. It feels the same after. Really? Okay. We should probably move quickly on. Um, <laughs> this would be the pose. Just kind of standing around, not really doing, going anywhere, not, not feeling rambunctious. Well, the highlight so far was the concert last night. It was outstanding. The highlight has been to see all friends that I hadn't seen for eight years. And, uh, and great Latihan. And it was joy to see a lot of old friends, yeah. And doing it last year with, with a big group is just uh, unbelievable. It's so, so uh, uh, relaxing and quiet. I give you a quiet time, you know. I love it. In the Congress atmosphere, so for some reason, we can do Latian two, three times a day, and it's OK. We can live it a lot more during Congress. Be able to come back to the source and all be together, the feeling is is so much stronger and to be able to bring that home and it's incredible to see everybody and have a great time and it's beautiful. For me it's a continuous process and um, I'm becoming um, more and more aware of the resistance of my normal self, my operating self in the world against surrender. The more I really dare to surrender my normal self to God and let God run the show and be present of that process and, and also execute it, that, is, that opens the possibility of a, of a very interesting life. So in four years time, where, where would you like to be in your life at the point of the, of the next World Congress? Where would you like your life to, to have got to in the next four years? Well, I'd like to finish my master's degree and then I could be able to do more things that I've been doing now and meet more people and try to make like more connections not just like being friends so being working together. Alive hopefully and uh, for you. It's a good start. Yeah, uh, no idea I guess would be the real answer. I want to be mother-in-law. <laughs> mother-in-law. For my, both my daughters to get married and then I would be free <laughs> of being worrying about them. Having a bond or an understanding with God in my life, I would like to have some progress. And in terms of my worldly life, I want to have success in uh, business and uh, enough money. And I want, what is very important for me is my relationship with my children, which is uh, actually minimum and very disturbed. So I would love that this relationship can heal and I would love to have a new partner in my life. Doing what I love with somebody that I love and doing the Lottie Hunt often. To be there four years from now. To be alive. To just to be there in the moment. Yeah. 